Have you often wondered what should you spend the most time prioritizing in terms of investing in order to have the most reward or return on that investment, to have a happy life, be fulfilled, have vibrancy, abundance, whatever it is that you dream about? Well, what should you be investing in? And I may go against what mainstream thinks you should be investing in, whether it's you should invest in the stock market and uh, you should invest in bitcoins and you should invest in real estate, blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, the number one thing we should be investing in, spending the most time, most money investing in, it is our health. Now, why do I think that? Well, let me explain it to you. Hi, welcome to Freely Shine with Dr. Amanda, where every week we talk about different health and wellness related topics from anything from nutrition to sleep, you name it, we'll probably talk about it at some point. So thank you for joining me and helping me in my mission, which is to create a community of people who want to shine vibrantly from the inside out. So enjoy this video where we talk about the number one investment we should be making, which is in our health. And we'll dive a little deeper into that in a few minutes, but hopefully you get something good from this video. And if so, please share it and help us spread that community to other like-minded individuals who want to shine on. When people think of investments, typically they're comprehending, comprehending, well, how much money should I put into my retirement? How much should I put into the stock market? How much should I diversify into other categories? And a lot of times we forget about what I believe to be the most important investment, which is our health. And one of my favorite quotes is, health is the crown on the well person's head that only the sick can see. And the reason that I love that quote is because so often we take for granted our health or how much our health impacts the quality of our life until we lose it. And so sometimes we can tend to not be as proactive in regards to what we're investing our time and money on considering our health. Uh, instead, we're more reactive. No matter what you value most, which could be anything from your relationships to your job to being active, hiking, being in nature, spending time with animals, whatever it is, I bet you that the majority of what you value is in some way tethered to your health. So a lot of times we want to invest in what we value, right? So if we value spending or we value our relationships, we're going to invest our time in those relationships. And my challenge is to dig a little deeper because all of those things that we value in some way is going to be tethered or connected to our health. Let me give you an example. Say you value spending time with your grandchildren. Now, if you don't have the energy to spend time with them, say you're in chronic pain, you can't get on the ground with them, say one of the things you love to do is to go for walks and you lose the ability to do that because in some way your health starts to deteriorate. Well, like I said, everything that you value is gonna be so much more affected when you're healthier. And if you lose your health, it's gonna affect the things that you love the most. Okay, you get it. Invest in your health. It's the number one thing you can do. All right, now, well, let's see. Well, I have good health insurance. Doesn't that count? I'm sorry, but no, that does not count as investing in your health. And I get it. Health insurance can be extremely expensive. Some people spend $1,000 a month on family plans, and that is a big investment. Now, I do not want you to think of that investment as being something that is directly connected to investing in your health. That is insurance. So think about it as like catastrophe, right? For the most part, insurance does not cover prevention and wellness. 
They are more there in reaction to if something goes wrong. And it's a lot easier to prevent those things from going wrong than having to deal with them once they do go wrong. But think about it like car insurance, right? Your car insurance, if you get in an accident, your car gets totaled, well, it'll cover your ability to fix the car or replace the car or whatever needs to be ha needs to happen. However, it doesn't cover your regular maintenance of your vehicle. It doesn't cover your oil changes or your gas or your alignments or your replacing windshield wipers, right? That's all on you and you have to invest in it in order to make your car last as long as possible and to keep it functioning the way that it's supposed to and the way that it was designed to without it breaking down on the side of the road and you know, you need help, right? So think about it that way. So are you investing in your body, in your health outside of your health insurance? And the best things to be investing in that are gonna have the most bang for your buck in terms of impacting your overall health is gonna be things like your food, the quality of the nutrition and uh, that you're eating. Are you investing in your store groceries that you get every week. And I know groceries are extremely expensive. And a lot of times processed foods, they have a lot of preser preservatives in them and they can last a lot longer, which means that they tend to be cheaper in the store. And I challenge you to invest in more whole foods, unprocessed, higher quality, uh, less GMO, more organic. Uh, there's a couple of cheat lists out there called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. So especially in terms of your produce, if you want to, you know, be more specific in what you're investing in, making sure you're really investing in those produce that are on the Dirty Dozen, getting those organic, because if they're on the Dirty Dozen, that means they're highly sprayed with pesticides and they're gonna have a lot more toxic load. And again, these can have a lot of detrimental health, health effects long-term. Other things you wanna invest your time into, in particular, is gonna be your fitness. So spending time during the week, exercising, moving your body, doing something that you enjoy doing. So this can also translate to investing your money in because be, like for example, say you really enjoy a certain sport, perhaps maybe investing in taking lessons. So if you love tennis, invest in taking tennis lessons. Or um, if you like golf, invest in taking golf lessons. Uh, doing something that you really enjoy to do, something that you're gonna like doing, and then investing in that time and money uh, in whatever form of exercise that you love. Investing in your health also means investing in your sleep. Sleep has such huge impacts in our health. And I actually did a whole video on this already, so I'm going to link it in the description below so that you can go access that just so that you can understand just how important investing time in your sleep is. And it may mean also investing money if you need to have a better mattress, whatever it may be. Sleep hygiene is so important and so impactful for improving our overall health. You also want to consider, are you investing in hygiene products, good quality hygiene products. This can be inf effectful on our health. Also cleaning products, household products, simply because a lot of these products can have a lot of chemicals that can be carcinogenic or promote cancer promoting uh, and can be toxic to humans. And we need to be mindful of what we're putting in our body and also putting on our body. A lot of female hygiene products or makeups, for example, have a lot of exogenous estrogens, which can affect a female's hormonal cycle. So looking into, are we investing into good quality products in our household, in our hygiene, that's gonna be effective on improving your health as well. Lastly, the other thing that you wanna invest in is good quality doctors, having people on your side to engage with you, to uplift you, to help you 
be held accountable for whatever health goals that you have. This means that they may not be in network providers. Maybe it's a naturopath or a chiropractor that's maintaining your overall spinal health. A lot of times these can be out of pocket expenses and not being afraid to invest in them if it's gonna improve the overall quality of your life and the value of your life for years to come. Because like I said, in terms of health insurance, it's going to be reactive, not proactive. And in my opinion, or another one of my favorite quotes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's a lot easier to prevent issues than to fix them once they're already there. Whenever we're talking about investments, right, it's always about what are you doing today? If I invest $5 today, what is that going to look like 10, 15 years from now? In regards to your health, it's what are you doing today that in 10, 15, 20 years, whatever, you're going to wake up and be like, oh, thank God I did that. Thank God I got that gym membership and started going back to the gym or thank God I changed my diet or thank God I started eating more vegetables. Whatever it is, invest in it today and think about what am I doing today that my future self is going to be so grateful for. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Like I said, my goal is to create a community that shines from the inside out. So I'm very glad that you are a part of it. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe, share it, help, help me reach more people and look for future contact that I'll be posting every single week to help motivate and inspire us to be healthier from the inside out. So thanks for joining me again. And I hope you shine on today.